Hello, we are from group 7 and we'll be discussing the safety precautions and how to use a portable Bunsen burner. So stay tuned! Introducing our group members. Hi, my name is Unika Luminus. Hi, my name is Nur and Shamiki Wahab. Bunsen burner and its parts. These are the safety precautions for the Bunsen burner. Long hair must be tied or pushed back as it can catch on fire or occlude your vision. As for headscarf, it must be put inside the lab coat. Do not put your headscarf over your shoulder like this. Long droopy clothes like this should be avoided. If you happen to be wearing one, tuck it inside your lab coat. Make sure your station is clean and uncluttered. Put away books or papers that might pose a fire hazard. Do not leave lit Bunsen burner unattended. Do not set up apparatus over Bunsen burner. Instead, slide the Bunsen burner under the apparatus, in this case, the tripod. Do not Direct the mouth of the test tube towards you. Also, not towards others. Always direct it away from people. The fire extinguisher should be within 10 seconds of reach from you. Locate safety equipment like the fire blanket before using the Bunsen burner. Igniting the Bunsen burner. Move the collar until the air hole is exposed. Turn the stopcock and use a lighter for ignition. This should be avoided as the fire is too close to your fingers. Adjusting the gas flow rate. Turn the stopcock anti-clockwise to increase gas flow. Turn it clockwise to lower gas flow. Blue flame is produced when air hole is exposed, while orange flame is produced when air hole is closed. Extinguishing Bunsen Burner Close the air hole by moving the collar. Next, turn the stopcock clockwise until the end. Then, let the Bunsen burner cool for about 5 minutes before storing it in a proper lab storage area. That's all from us. We hope you find this video is helpful. Thanks for watching!